Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're talking Love and Marriage Hensel. You guys know why you're here. Today, we were talking about the mid-season trailer, you guys. Um, I believe the show's supposed to come back in uh, September, uh, because that's not that much of a break. <laughs> like, these people, I feel like, film um, practically every day, almost. And uh, it seems like everybody is sick of uh, Letitia and Marceau's nonsense you guys it seems like people have finally had it people are finally hip to their game and i thought some of these scenes were actually going to be in the mid-season finale but they kind of played us uh so it's actually going to be a part of the second half of the season right and and marzo had fought to get his solo scene once again with melody sheree um as he and his wife are trying to shade melody sheree's businesses and says that she's quote unquote only has a t-shirt business and doesn't need advice from her uh sir that is like one of 20 businesses that melody sheree has um if we are keeping track um, and you should be seeking advice from Melody Sheree. It was you and the rest of the comeback group who were foaming at the mouth at Melody Sheree being a speaker for you guys and helping you guys and trying to make you guys pop once again uh, because she is the one who has the resources, right? She is the one who has the resources. She is the one who has the business acumen. She is not the person who was sitting up on a panel saying that she has failed every single business that she has attempted. Like, make it make sense, you guys. Um, and it seems as though Melody Sheree, she's only filming with certain people. It's like blatantly obvious um, that they're trying to push uh, these other cast members. But the problem is, they have nothing going on either other than keeping Melody Sheree's name in their mouths, right? And stalking her Instagram. And then we have um, Maurice just being even more disgusting, um, you know, talking about Kimmy needs to see a sex therapist and uh, because he doesn't understand why she doesn't want to have sex with him and she is trying to tell him the cancer medication, um, you know, as well as her immune system, as well as everything, right? Because when you suffer um, from cancer and everything else, like it um, affects your body. Not only that, it affects your sex drive, right? And um, for whatever reason, Maurice seems to think that it is quote unquote mental with Kimmy and I just don't understand it I have no idea at this point why Kimmy continues to entertain this man she was with him for what seven or eight years before he finally married her and and now I'm starting to think that he might have just married her for the sake of the show uh at this point because it has just been nothing but a hot mess ever since they've been together he has only seen Kimmy as his sugar mama and and nothing more and a babysitter for his son while he goes out and does him right he goes out and does him, uh, puts together these scam businesses. Uh, is he even a practicing lawyer that he couldn't even show up to his brother's hearing um, to represent him? Like, what is going on, right? But you have all this time to obsess over sex, right? You have all this time to obsess over sex and go on these male weekend trips with uh, the likes of Marceau and Martel, you guys. Uh, and we all know what's happening there, right? Uh, and then I think, uh, what else happened in there? Oh, Kiki is activated. <laughs> that is what happened. Um, that was what the most important thing is. Kiki is activated and she has had enough of her family. Uh, she has had enough of the BS and throws a drink, you guys, at, uh, Marceau and Letitia. And, um, uh, Marceau now is all like, oh, we need security and blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing. You and your wife have been calling your cousin Kiki a drug addict all this time you've insulted her and you have came for her all this time and you think that nothing was going to happen you think she was not going to respond you don't think kiki was going to get her licks in and it looks like uh we're finally hearing about the cheating rumor that was uh discussed um months ago about the uh makeup stylist and, and all of the things and even um uh, mel is having a go at marceau and is like listen uh you know you'll be saying all this but when leticia finally leaves you and and all the things but i don't know if leticia's really going to do it you guys i think she right she likes having the title of being a wife even if she is married to a cheater and married to a man who's a misogynist and narcissist and refuses uh to act right because he knows Letitia's never going anywhere right I uh, so so I would be shocked actually if Letitia actually pulled the plug on the marriage because it seems as though uh she very much wants to present a false narrative to the people I uh, and then also Melody Sheree comes for these people comes specifically for these black men who are insulting black successful female entrepreneurs uh, because they're intimidated by them um they're insecure because they cannot 
can't get a tenth of the success that Melody Cherie has. Case in point, her ex-husband, who is asking to see her financial records, is asking for proceeds from Sugar Mama's line uh, because he cannot make it on his own. Where was NS Wine and uh, his suit line and all these, you know, big things that he is supposedly going for himself, right? Why is Marie saying at a black expo and a black ex know that he has failed every single business that he has attempted and that his credit score is a 406 and Kimmy is looking like, yes, I know because I support this man. And then we have uh, Marceau fumbling at not even knowing what a venture capitalist is, right? And not even knowing anything about business and completely tumbling over all of his words. Why are any of these black men a resource for success? and have the audacity to come for Melody Cherie on hers. Make it make sense as to why that is even a thing and why they continue to get away with it, right? And so I am happy finally uh, that, you know, we're gonna finally get to some stuff. We're gonna finally get to, uh, you know, the Scots finally meeting their match in Stormy and her husband, Courtney, because they are about that life for real. And uh, Marceau and Letitia need to be careful, right? But I'm trying to figure out how much of this real beef exists if Letitia literally um, is having a, uh, you know, hair shampoo or whatever else for kids um, that is using Stormy's email and is using um, um, things with Stormy. Like, was this some sort of a collaboration or did she just wrongfully copy and paste uh, the wrong information uh, into her supposed brand? Uh, I just need to understand, like, like, what was the point? So uh, there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. What did you guys think of the midseason trailer? Um, it looks more of the same, but it looks like people are finally activated against the Scots and sick of their nonsense, sick of, sick of their instigating and their gaslighting. And we have more of Maurice just being trifling. So there is that. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.